guys, this is Matt Brunet, creator of Animation Look Back and Animats Reviews, and welcome to another exciting round of updates. And let me tell you right now that ever since the last update vlog, there have been a lot of new additions and there have been a lot of big changes that I just couldn't wait to go and make another update vlog so I can go and address to you guys about them right over here so at least we can make things a little bit official about them. But before we go ahead and get things started onto the actual updates on my videos, first I need to tell you guys that I need a little bit of your help on something and this is going to be regarding the future of my videos. Now don't worry, I am not in danger or anything, I'll allow me to explain. Because as you guys probably know, one big thing that I always do with my videos is always look for ways in order to go and improve myself from last time. I'm always on a journey to find ways in order to make my videos better than the last and to really improve upon myself in order to have people, to have you guys, and to have newcomers enjoy my videos in ways that you haven't had before. But I can't just do it by myself. That's why I'm asking you for a little bit of assistance. And what you guys can help me is mostly just feedback. Now, here's the thing. I actually decided to go and create a little survey for you guys, pretty much asking, how am I doing? That, that's basically the big question in general. How am I doing with my videos? And also, to get to know a little bit more about you. Like, what is it that introduced you to my videos? Uh, what are your favorite shows that I do? Uh, what is it that you think I can improve upon? Uh, what would you like to see more about? It's pretty much a, a variety of questions about not just me and my videos, but also uh, my entire presence of Animat on the internet in general to know if you guys are satisfied and what would you guys like to see me do more or what is it that I need to improve. If you guys know me, then you probably know that I can handle criticism very well as long as it's from someone that is very respectful and someone whom I can trust that could have a good and honest opinion. And when it comes to my fans, you guys are definitely awesome and I definitely trust you that you can have a good opinion on how am I doing? Are my videos uh, catering to your satisfaction? Are there ways that I can do better with my videos? Is there some things that you want to see me do more? And all that kind of stuff. And uh, also, regarding the survey, there is actually a little bit of a reward at the end. So if you actually go and do the survey, then the last question will actually be a little bit of a bonus where you can actually go and uh, select which top 10 would you like to see me do next this year? And uh, keep in mind though, that this is going to be a question that I will be asking around social media as well, but um, this will be a, a little bit of a first, like you guys will go ahead and answer that question first before anyone else would, as long as you actually do the survey. And one more thing I would like to say, regarding that little question about what would be the next top 10 you would like me to do, I'm not, uh, there is a very good chance that I'm not gonna do just one of them for this year. There is a possibility that I could do two or maybe three top 10s this year. You'll just have to wait and see. And uh, I did put up some suggestions on which ones you would like and uh, who knows how we can go from there. So. Uh, basically, the whole thing that I am asking with this survey is just to know a little bit of your feedback and that way it will help you make me improve upon not just how I am doing, not just the quality and not just the personification of Animat, but also to improve upon what you guys would like to see, what you guys want from me with my videos. So that's basically the whole thing with my survey. Okay, so 
with that one out of the way, let us go ahead and get into the updates on my videos. And first and foremost, I would like to go ahead and talk about Animation Look Back Cartoon Network. Now, that series is actually going extremely well, and I am so glad that everybody has been highly enjoying it. And as I am recording this, I am reaching near the end. Like, again, by the time I am recording this, Part 5 was actually released not too long ago, and I did actually make it to the modern day, like today, pretty much. And so far, with Cartoon Network, that would leave us with one more part left where I would go and talk about an honorable mention and then do my conclusion. But I think the biggest one that people are really going to be anticipating for is actually going to be regarding what's going to be the next animation look back. Because that's always been the biggest discussion regarding my work is which animation look back am I going to do next. Now, there have been a variety of things, and of course, I would usually get a lot of requests, and especially the fact that I have done Cartoon Network. Like, now I have been bombarded with request after, after request about doing animation look back Nicktoons. Uh, but I will say right now, if I do... What, actually, if I would give out a little bit of a hint of what's going to be the next animation look back. I will be a little bit vague with this one, but I am going to say that it's honestly been a long time, but I feel like I want to go back into talking about movies. So that's going to be the hint for the next animation look back is the fact that the next one after Cartoon Network, I will be discussing about feature films. I feel like now it's been a long, long time and as I am recording this, the last time that I've done an animation look back about movies, it was actually with animation look back Studio Ghibli, or at least one where the main subject is about movies. I know a lot of people would probably bring up the honorable mention of animation look back Looney Tunes, where I talked about Space Jam and Looney Tunes back in action, but I kind of miss a little bit of that feeling where I would do research on feature films and just discuss about their performance and the making of them and all that kind of stuff. I mean, it was a lot of fun and it was great talking about Looney Tunes and Cartoon Network, but I want to go back into the roots of Animation Look Back and actually talk about movies. So the main subject is going to be about that and that is all that I'm going to say for now regarding the next one. You'll probably have to wait until the next update vlog in which I will discuss in full of what the next animation look back will be. Now, uh, that does remain one big question, however, and that is going to be regarding when is the final part of Animation Look Back Cartoon Network going to be out? Well, for that one, I will say that I have officially set a release date and it will be released at that time no matter what, which is going to be on February 17th. Now, during that week, you guys will be getting two videos in which you will get a review, and then afterwards, uh, it will be Animation Look Back Cartoon Network Part 6, which is going to be the last one. So, all you have to do is just stay tuned for that time to see not only the conclusion, in which I will include a top 10 uh, best Cartoon Network shows, but also the subject of what will be in the honorable mention, and of course, what is the next animation look back. So stay tuned for that one. Okay, so the next thing that I want to talk to you guys about is actually going to be something in which experienced some major changes immediately after the last update vlog, which is going to be regarding Animat Plays, my gaming channel. Now, if you may remember, right at the beginning when I first opened it, I mentioned that I would go and live stream it on three different platforms, which is Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. So that was the format that I was going with, but then soon afterwards, like right after I started, 
I noticed immediately that I had to do some big changes and sadly I had to do some sacrifices. Now for those of you who do pay attention to anime plays, then you do know very well what I'm talking about. Now here is the current format that I actually am doing with anime plays. Now instead of actually live streaming on three different platforms, I'm only doing it on to one. I signed a contract with Twitch, so I'm only live streaming on Twitch, and it is the same thing. Every Tuesday at 4 p.m. Eastern, where I would go and live stream about approximately 90 minutes at a time. So that thing doesn't change right over there, and I have been doing that continuously since. And what happens with the YouTube channel of Animat Plays is where I would go and upload the archives of what I've done with the live streams, but I don't immediately upload them right after I would stream them. They would go and appear every Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern. That's when you can go and check them out on YouTube. But I will say that right now, when it comes to Twitch and the whole live streaming experience, I am starting to get the hang of it, and I am doing my best to entertain you guys to not only give my commentary on what's going on with the game, but also to have a little bit of interaction as well, to have a, a chat with you guys in the chat room on Twitch. And so far, it has been pretty fun, and I have been enjoying it ever since. And uh, also, there is one thing that I have changed in terms of the format of anime plays, and that is actually going to be regarding how I would be playing the games. Now beforehand, one thing that I was really worried about and I was really focused on is actually giving out a variety, where I would go and present a whole bunch of games that I would play and every week it would be different. Now I decided to go ahead and change that up so that now, if I am going to be playing a game, I will be committed to playing it week after week until the very end. So as I am recording this, oh well actually, coincidentally enough, uh, right now on Animat Plays, week after week, I am playing Epic Mickey until I am done. Right now you can actually go on the Animat Plays YouTube channel and if you want to go ahead and catch up on how I am playing on Epic Mickey, then all you have to do is go ahead and check out five parts. They are pretty long, but at least you'll be updated onto where I am. So this is all to say that if you guys want to go and follow me on Twitch and you want to check out my live streams that are happening every Tuesday, again, at 4 p.m. Eastern, then all you have to do is go and check out Animat Play, uh, uh, which I believe is uh, twitch.tv slash animatplays. I think that's the link, or either way, I am gonna put up a link somewhere over here, so I will guide you in the right, uh, in the right direction. Or you could just go into the description and you can just uh, click on the link right over there. Now, with all that said and done, let's go ahead and jump from Twitch and let's move right along to my Patreon. And I'm sure that if you guys have been watching my reviews, then I'm pretty certain that you guys have heard a lot about Patreon. Uh, but I have done a little bit of minor switches in there. Now, I'm not saying that I am doing some big changes into the format there as well, but there is a little bit of a minor tweak that I've done to give you guys a little bit of an interest, or to give a little bit more of an interest that maybe you guys could join in as well. Now, previously, what I have done is that is actually, before I talk about that, is that uh, the change that I have done is actually in the milestone. And within the milestone, beforehand, it was more something that would benefit myself more so than it would just benefit for you guys. Now, as I am recording this, I have made it more than a thousand dollars a month, which is really awesome, and I couldn't thank you guys enough, and especially a major thanks to the patrons. But beforehand, the milestones were not really all that appealing. The next one, it would be, it would actually be just some upgrades where I would go my, I would go and get myself a fancy new camera 
and a more professional microphone, which really, it benefits me more so than it would benefit you guys. So I decided to go and change that up a bit so that not only it would benefit myself more, but it would also benefit you guys so you can actually enjoy more of the work that I would do. That and also, maybe you guys couldn't tell, but I also decided to go and get myself a brand new camera. So, it, it doesn't matter regardless. So, I, I guess I've already made it to that goal, so I gotta switch that up. So, what I decided to do is that if I hit $2,000 a month on my Patreon, then what I'm going to do is completely level up Animat Plays. And by that, I mean that I am going to go and get a super PC computer. Now, the big benefit of getting a super PC gaming computer, that will allow me to go and get as much Steam games as I want, and for you guys to go and enjoy some of the current games that are pretty much popular right now, and I can pretty much follow in the same steps as many big YouTube Let's Players right now, and you can see me play some of those games. And I will make a promise on this video right now that if I do hit $2,000 a month and I go and get my Super PC gaming computer, then the first game I'm going to go play, without a doubt, it's going to be Cuphead. I have been getting a lot of requests from people asking me if I could play Cuphead, and that is definitely a game I am highly interested to play, and I have expressed that before, and yeah, that is definitely going to be a promise I will make no matter what. The only way that I would break my promise there is if I would go and I would somehow find myself with an Xbox One, which would allow me to go and get Cuphead from there, and I would actually play Cuphead. That, or maybe uh, the people that made the game would suddenly decide, let's also put that on the Nintendo Switch. That would actually be amazing, and I would be super ecstatic about it, but yeah, that is one promise that I can make for now. If I get my, P if I get two thousand dollars a month on my piece, uh, if I get two thousand dollars a month on my Patreon, and I would go and get the Super PC gaming computer, then I will play Cuphead onto uh, Animat Plays, no matter what. So that's the important thing that I want to mention, and hopefully it will give you guys a little bit more of an interest to go and support me on Patreon, which I will put up the link right over here, which is patreon.com slash animat. And I just want to say this right now to not worry if you don't have enough to go and support me on Patreon. Every little pledge counts. You don't have to go and make a giant pledge, like make $75 a month or $100 a month so you can also go and get a, re a review request from me. You don't have to do that. If you, even if you go ahead and just make little pledges like $5 a month or $2 a month, I would be extremely grateful and I would be extremely happy, uh, happy for it and I wouldn't thank you guys enough and hopefully you will enjoy the rewards that I will offer to you. So there is that bonus right over there. So yeah, there is that uh, change in the milestone that I've done. And if you guys want to go ahead and support my work and get some awesome rewards at the same time, then all you have to do is go to patreon.com slash animate. And with all that said, that's actually going to be it for this round of updates. And now it's time that I'm going to go into the Q&A. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, at the end of these update vlogs, I would go ahead and answer five questions from fans who would go and ask me from wherever I am on the internet, rather it be in the comments section, or rather it be on Facebook, on Twitter, on DeviantArt, or wherever. Uh, if you have an interesting question for me, then you could get a chance that I would go ahead and answer it right over here. And if, you're, uh, if your question doesn't get answered, well, all, I'll say, all I can say is just better luck next time. Okay, so with all that said and done, let's go ahead, whoops, okay, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, answer the first question, which is going to be, whoops, oh, hold on a sec, I kind of cheated a little bit. Uh, which is going to be 
Er, ugh, come on, answer it for me. Come on. Okay, so, did I press anything? Okay, yes. Uh, the first one is actually going to be from uh, Sean Malone. And Sean asked me, uh, Matt, I know this is irrelevant, but I was watching your Studio Ghibli review and the song Pure Imagination was playing. Oh, from Animation Look Back Studio Ghibli. Uh, however, it doesn't say in the credit where the cover came from. Uh, was that you who did it? P.S. Love your videos. They're awesome. Okay, well, uh, first and foremost, thank you so much, Sean. And I do know exactly which one you're talking about. Actually, funny enough, the version that I used was uh, a little bit different. This is an instrumental version of the Glee version of Pure Imagination. But I did tweak it up a little bit, mostly because I didn't want to get any copyright claims from uh, YouTube and stuff like that. So I did speed it up a little bit so that it would be 110%. So the pitch is a little bit higher, but hopefully that will answer your question. So that version right over there, it's the instrumental version of the Glee version of Pure Imagination if you speed it up to 110%. I don't mean to give it, make it 110% faster, but I mean the speed is 110%. Okay, so uh, hopefully that will answer your question right over there. So. Uh, the next one that we shall do, let's go ahead and randomize all this. Uh, I should probably go ahead and get a special app to just randomize this stuff. That would actually be pretty good. Uh, anyways, uh, the next one is going to be Brian Aranak, uh, Ar 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 Aranki. Okay, Brian Aranki. Sorry about that, dude. And Brian asks, Hello, Animat. What is the name of the fanfare music you use when you give the film you had just reviewed the Animat Seal of Approval? Oh wow, I got a lot of music questions. Okay, so uh, as you guys probably know, I would have a different selection of music whenever there would be a specific score given to an animated film. Now some of you might know that some of them are easily recognizable, like if a movie gets a 7 or 8 out of 10, then it would be the Sonic Victory theme from the Super Smash Bros. games. Or if it would get the Animat Seal of Garbage and it would get either like a 4 or a 3 out of 10, then it would get the Sonic Game Over theme. But if there is an animated feature that was amazing and it would get the Animat Seal of Approval and it would get either a 9 or a 10 out of 10, then at that point, I would go and use... Um, this is actually... A little bit interesting as well. This one is actually from a special orchestra version of a series of Super Smash uh, of Super Smash Bros. songs. Actually, you know, since I have my phone right over here, I can actually go into my music collection and I will search it for you. Uh, like what it is, I do remember. It's actually from an orchestra version. Like um, Nintendo decided to go and do. Uh, oh, yes, okay, so basically the medley is called, um, let's see if I can find it, uh, somewhere right over here, but I know it's, uh, it's like, it has a variety of things. Okay, yeah, so it's called, Orig it's the ending of original medley from the album Smashing Live. Uh, the, which is by the New Japan Philharmonic, which you would hear this live orchestra version of songs from Super Smash Bros. Melee. And right at the end, it would be uh, an orchestra version of the uh, little theme that you would hear when you would clear Classic Mode or All-Star Mode. So hopefully that can answer your question right over there. And you can actually go and search it on, on YouTube, I believe. So yeah, that's basically the song that I use for uh, like whenever a movie would get the Animad seal of approval. Okay, so that's pretty much it right over there. Uh, just wanna double check if everything is all good with it. Uh, wait a minute, oh dear. <laughs> Uh, I think so? I think? Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll deal with it later. 
Uh, but anyways, uh, let's move on to the uh, next question that we have. So let's see, we're gonna go with this one. Uh, I didn't even press anything. Okay, next, this one. I said this one. Did I select something? Okay. Um, yes, this one is going to be coming from Aaron Lomelli. And Aaron asked, uh, what character or characters do you want to see on Smash Bros for the Nintendo Switch if it ever happens? Okay, well, we do have a smooth transition right over here, I see. Uh, but in terms of that one, I know that there is going to be a, a Smash Bros game eventually on the Switch. But to answer your question right over there, if there are any specific characters that I would like to see, I guess, you know at this point, considering that Mario has already done a crossover, I would love to see a rabbit from Raving Rabbids appear as a playable character. That would actually be really awesome. And I know that technically this wouldn't necessarily be allowed, but um, I would love to see Mickey Mouse as a playable character. Rather it be like Sorcerer Mickey, or King Mickey from Kingdom Hearts, or even Epic Mickey, or... But just, if you can get Mickey Mouse in Smash Bros, I would be so happy with my life and I would already deem it as my favorite Super Smash Bros game right over there. But if there are any other ones, I'm honestly trying to think, but you know, maybe there are some Pokemon out there that I would love to see as a playable character. Like, uh, if they could add Blaziken as a Smash Bros. character, that would really be awesome, and honestly, it would be long overdue, because Blaziken would actually seem like a perfect Smash Bros. character right over there. Uh, but any others? Um, honestly, I am drawing a blank of it, but I would say those ones. A Rabbid, uh, Mickey Mouse, and also Blaziken from Pokemon. So yeah, uh, I'm sure there are plenty of others that a lot of people would pick. Uh, hold on a sec, let me just go ahead and pick that one. There we go. Alright, so let's go ahead on to our next question that we got. Let's go ahead and make this one count. I said, let's go ahead and make this one count. Alright, and this is actually going to be coming from Benny Boltros. And um, Benny asks, Hard not to wonder, but do you regret not putting in Bill Cipher on your top 10 other Disney villains list? Well, if I could be honest, no. I am actually really happy with not only the list itself, but the video that I've made for the top 10 other Disney villains. In fact, that's actually one of my favorite videos that I have actually created. And, uh, you know, there is actually something very funny with uh, Gravity Falls and with... Um, with the top 10 other Disney villains because I remember back then people were freaking out that I actually didn't include little Gideon on the list because back then season one of Gravity Falls was released and after seeing the show myself which is absolutely amazing by the way uh, the only real major villain was actually uh, little Gideon. Bill Cipher was there but he wasn't the main big villain like we have seen in the Weird Mageddon episodes. So I would say that if I would update the list, then I would include Bill Cipher, but I wouldn't actually put him high. I would actually put him somewhere maybe in the middle, like around four, five, or six, or something like that. If I would actually put him a little bit higher, then maybe I would put him a little bit over Xehanort maybe, but that would be the furthest that I could go. But yeah, honestly, maybe I would add him nowadays onto the list, but now, uh, honestly, I'm happy with uh, the top 10 other Disney villains. Okay, so with all that said, we have one more question to get into, so let's go ahead and make this one count. And this one, hold on a sec, I didn't really select anything. This one is actually going to be coming from uh, Joe Sonic Boo. And uh, Joe asks, When it comes to do an animated film that is based on a social issue, do you have to be careful? Okay, now I will say this right now. That 
Rather it be just me making a simple video or if it's an animated feature that wants to go ahead and discuss about a social issue, yes, you gotta be extremely careful. Because already jumping into the social issue itself, you're already in hot water and it's going to cause some major wars with the public or rather it be with just audiences reactions or with the comment section. And there are times when I would have to go and learn that the hard way. Now, for those of you who do watch uh, the podcast highlights, or if you actually do listen to the animation podcast, then you probably know that I'm not afraid to go ahead and jump into some of the social issues. And even at that point, I am extremely careful with what I want to say and what I try to explain my point. You know, rather it be something about um, like the LGBT community or about racism or about anything along those lines, then I try to be careful with the words that I try to say and which words I want to say in order to go and prove my point. And regardless, even if I am extremely careful, even if I am playing it the safest way, what happens afterwards, there will be an extreme war going on and you will piss some people off even if they do slightly disagree. I remember not too long ago, I actually released a video where I would discuss about, um, uh, what was it? Oh yeah, it was about the possibility if Disney is going to make a princess that would be a part of the LGBTQ plus community. And that has started some massive flame wars. And believe it or not, I have actually lost some subscribers, which is actually an extremely rare occurrence because that never happened to me before. Like, I never lose subscribers if I would talk about Sony Pictures Animation and I would give them legitimate criticism. I don't lose, I don't even lose subscribers if I bash Donald Trump or anything like that. But that video where I talked about the LGBTQ community, yeah, somehow that drew the line for many people. And it was honestly shocking. Like, I saw the statistics and I was like, whoa, dude, I was not expecting that. And honestly, it pretty much showed my naivete when I was thinking, okay, I'm going to be respectfully talking about the LGBTQ plus community and see how it goes from there. Let's see, maybe YouTube is going to be respectful about it. Nope, never underestimate the madness of the YouTube comment section. Ha ha ha. But uh, yeah, especially with an animated film, I mean, if I get that much crap going into a social issue, even if I'm playing it the safest way possible, then yes, it is going to be catastrophic if an animated feature would do that. Like, this is pretty much why you have yet to see an animated film where the main star is actually a gay character. So it is highly dangerous, but you have to carefully trace your steps in order for it to make it work. Honestly, the best example of an animated film that does go into a serious social issue and they nailed it perfectly, it would have to be Disney's Zootopia, which is one of the big reasons why I still stand that it's not only the best film of, the, of that year, but it's also one of the best animated features of the decade. So. I know that's a pretty heavy-handed subject to talk about, but that's pretty much my entire thoughts on it, and also my experience with talking about specific social issues. So, with all that said and done, that is pretty much going to be it with this update vlog. So, with all that said and done, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to go and do the survey. I would love to hear your feedback, your feedback and your criticisms about what I can do in order to make my videos better and in order for you guys to enjoy them even more. Uh, also, don't forget to like my Facebook pages and don't forget to follow me on Twitter. And also, um, I got my Twitch channel that you can go and check out Animat Plays. And of course, I have my Patreon in which you can go ahead and support my work. 
And with all that said, um, enjoy more of my videos. Uh, there's going to be a lot more great stuff to come. And with all that said, until next time, see you later, dudes.